This is playing basketball out in the rain. Volleyball, whichever it is. This is the camp we're staying in. kitchen, some of the kitchen help, I prepared all the food that we eat. This is some of the staff eating their dinner. some of the tables that we eat at. You can see all the wood they put up shrinks and you can see right through everything. They're thankful to have what they got. This is a building project we're going to do. San Lorenzo. Uh, it's not quite completed yet. Ernie says we're going to put a canvas roof on this thing <laughs> before the rains come. <laughs> Those chickens. This is the old church building that they're using now. This is outside of the new church that they're building. They don't have funds enough to complete it. But they keep working on it. It's going to be very nice. This is the churchyard. Could be landscape very nice. Gracias por el amor que me hace. 
There's more people coming to church. They say the town of San Leandro is 80% Seventh-day Adventist, and they have two churches there besides this one here at the school. I think that's really something. Here's a view from the church parking lot. More people coming to church. They all walk. sure there's a power line coming in here. The government brought power in and not charging them for it. There's Tom Blue studying his Bible. You find chickens and turkeys everywhere. I guess they control the bugs. people coming. More people. This lady was very camera shy. This is part of our crew. I believe this man is an elder of the one of the churches here. Very good speaker anyway. Uh. 
This little fella just coming to church, carrying his Bible. The older gentleman is uh, Grandpa Adams, the one that started all this. I'm standing on a hill here between both entrances that come to the church, trying to keep up with the people that are coming in. Very camera shy, hardly ever will look at you.
friends have a school class for the young people. There's another class meeting. Another Sabbath school class meeting. Yeah. Here's another Sabbath school class meeting. And yet another class. This side of the church is Spanish. <laughs> this side of the church is English. Muy bien, creo que ya los maestros terminaron. Many of the Spanish can speak English. There's another Sabbath school class. Grandpa and Grandma Adams, I understand they're the ones that started all this. Yet another Sabbath school class. Another class. All outside. Hi, how are you? He's not talking to me.
people coming to church. Sabbath school ended and many are coming for church. The church is already full. They just keep coming. This is our construction crew laying block this morning. 
It is now 10.30. You can get some idea how much block has been laid this morning. And we're going right along. I'm um, going to go over and get a picture of the other side now. Oh, we're leveling up here to get ready to pour a floor. How's it going? This is a beautiful country if you like to sweat a lot. <laughs> Are you losing any weight? See that? Yet? <laughs> okay, you don't let it fall over now. It's still standing. It's still standing? <laughs> Keep her there. <laughs> Okay, I'm on the back side now. These blocks have been laid this morning too. Give some idea of what we've got left here. Follow the foundation clear on down to the very end down there. <laughs> He's laying blocks, doing a good job. You can guess who the biggest guy on the crew is. Just take a look down through there. I'll just bring him in to us. That's him right there. These are the people that come to see the doctor and uh, the dentist. Whole line of them come in from everywhere out of these mountains. <laughs> Truck just pulled in bringing the steel for the trusses and the tin for the roof. Just now drove in. He just got a wet towel around his neck. This gentleman that's laying out the trusses is from Montana. <clears throat> hey, Welder! Where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey. Okay, I wanted to get that on here. Thank you! South Jersey. <laughs> South New, South New Jersey? South New Jersey, South New Jersey. Tony, another carpenter. The people that are dressed in uh, colored dresses. They're all Indians. This is a construction boss here. This is a professional bricklayer there, a local. Keeps us all straight. gentleman right here, he's, he's the uh, man that helps keep us all in straight in line. He does a pretty good job. <clears throat> this is the mortar crew. That building there is the Hilton Hotel. Most all of 
people stayed there. I guess I better get back to work or they'll probably fire me. We'll take pictures later. There's Ada Kuhn. Ida Kuhn. This is Thursday on our building. It's coming right along. Getting all the floors level. We're getting ready to pour the floors. There's our superintendent. Where's an umbrella? There's Lloyd.
gracias también por el gran trabajo que hicieron bajo sol en esta eh, construcción. Thanks a lot for working in the hot sun, you know, just in the construction. Que el Señor del Cielo les recupere la salud y aun cuando estamos en el cielo, les contaremos a Él el arduo trabajo que se realizó aquí. Un muchacho abnegado en el trabajo. Y dio mucho de su esfuerzo para poder limpiar este plantel. Hard just making, making this patio here, clearing it. Pero no fueron en vano, se ahora alcanzó la meta, ahora es un pastor que atienda el campo. Si algunos de nuestros hermanos que han venido de, de norte, si ya nos podemos ver de nuevo, esperamos vernos a recordar este eh, trabajo que hemos realizado. Cement crew mixing cement. and running, can't go nowhere. Oh well. So now you got set up. Yeah. Okay, now you can slowly turn around. Uh, I don't want to turn around for that thing. Sure you do. That's kind of <laughs> This is the back side of our classrooms. It's going to be lots of windows. back wall. There's Ken getting ready to split some block. 
been a good hard worker here. Take one more picture of all the buildings here. These are the old classrooms we use for kitchen and uh, office, and uh, medical team worked in them. That's a couple of the outhouses, and here is Motel Six. They had many people sleeping in that room. They had it petitioned off. These are the some more outside toilets and showers that was used. This is some of the dorms and where the faculty live. And these buildings here are not very fancy see through the walls. Don't get very cold here though. This is one of the carpenter shops here where they store their lumber. Very pretty place. This is the bus we rode up and down the mountain in. In the States, they wouldn't even let this thing on the road so bad. But it sure beat walking. This is the mountain up behind our project. This mountain gets bigger and bigger, and it, as you can see, it's straight up and down. We're going to hike up there this morning to a waterfall. I'll try to get a picture of that. Very rugged country. Beautiful though. We're putting the trusses up now. Here's the people that came for the clinic today.
already hiked there. <laughs> yeah. This is the trail back out. There's one huge rock that slid out. Huh? Oh man, trees are growing off that rock. Oh, well that came right off the top of it. There's a cornfield right on the side of a steep cliff. Here's a view of the on the other side of this canyon. Ladies, boys, girls carrying wood on their back. Boy, that's a natural umbrella. Natural umbrella. Now the trusses are all up now. Oh, the camera. 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 Oh,